Cyclone MMA. All right, guys, so we have determined who the fighter of the year is, and if you haven't checked out that video, be sure to do it because it's freaking epic or whatever. But now it's time for something else. It is time to determine the UFC fight of the year. Now, I gave you some options. I gave you room to say other if you thought that these options weren't worthy. But the nominees were Yuri Prohaska versus Clever Teixeira, Gilbert Burns versus Hamzat Shemaev, Brandon Moreno versus Davison Figueredo 3, and Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. Now, there was a few people who said other, and they all said Rose Namajunas versus Carla Esparza. These people can literally burn in hell. Just kidding. That was way too intense. I, I, pre I appreciate the meme. I appreciate you playing on with that being the greatest fight because it's one of the least great fights ever. It's one of the worst fights anyone has ever seen. If you go back and watch that fight, it's actually hilarious how bad it is. It's something that's so bad that it's good. You can watch it. Just kind of plastered and be like, this is hilariously bad. But we're not talking about the bad. We're talking about the good. Now, coming in with 3% of the vote, Moreno versus Figgy 3. Now, these dudes, they should just fight every year because it's really entertaining and it seems like they keep you know, getting a leg up on each other. The first time around, it was a close fight. It was a draw because Figgy cheated. Was it a, like He kept get, kicking Brandon Moreno in the balls or something. Was it eye pokes? I forget. It's been a minute. I remember it being an awesome fight, one that a lot of people thought Brandon Moreno did better than they thought he was going to do. Second fight, Moreno looked way, way better than Figueredo. It didn't look close. Third fight, very, very close. Could have gone either way. Figueredo comes away with a victory. Those dudes are going to fight again, and then they should fight again after that, and then they should fight again after that because they have produced some really, really great fights. Coming in... Fourth place, nope, nope, not fourth place. That's third place, bro. Coming in third place with 13% of the vote. Dustin Poirier versus Michael Chandler. We knew this was going to be a good fight. Dustin Poirier doesn't have boring fights. Michael Chandler doesn't have boring fights. These guys, they had bad blood. They're both kind of nice guys, but can also kind of be douchey. So putting them together was beautiful. They had beautiful chaos for us to watch. A bloody fight. Um... A fight that saw Dustin Poirier get a submission victory in the third round. And a fight that saw these dudes just banging at some point. They were just throwing haymakers. And a lot of shots were landing. Not a ton of defense going on in this fight. All right. So I'm going to skip second place and announce the winner. We'll go back to second place. But with 60% of the vote in the UFC fight of the year, according to the audience. And I happen to agree with the audience. So this is according to the Cyclone MMA voting committee which is just me um yuri prohaska versus glover Teixeira is the ufc fight of the year and we're going to talk about this because this was a crazy fight glover Teixeira is like a 40 year old man him even winning the title was an underdog story him winning against jan blahovich being the champ one of the oldest champs ever cool story and he was fighting this freak right this yuri prohaska freak who's just Knocking dudes out, doing crazy stuff. He's screaming at the camera. He's, you know, a true martial artist, according to himself. He he has honor and samurai codes and all this jazz. And he was supposed to come in and just wallop this older Glover Teixeira, win the belt, and be the new guard. And it's weird looking at the light heavyweight division now and how much of a wreck it is. You don't have a champion. You had a draw in a title fight. You have Yuri Prohaska injured. But this fight was special because you saw... A back and forth affair, just fighting on the ground, fighting on on the feet, back and forth. You saw Glover Teixeira winning the fight in the fifth round, and he gets submitted with like 30 seconds to go. He just had to hold on, and he was going to win on the scorecards, and he lost it to the younger guy. And I'm hoping that they run it back eventually. I know Yuri's injured, and I know Glover's getting up there in age. They were supposed to run it back, but then there was that whole injury. But man... What a fight. What a classic, legendary fight. We were lucky to all see that. So congrats to Yuri Prohaska and Glover Teixeira for putting on an absolute banger. Now in second place was Hamzat Shemaev versus Gilbert Burns with 20% of the vote. This fight was epic too. And Hamzat Shemaev hadn't been tested in the UFC up to this point. He was climbing the ranks super quickly. 
and he jumped to, I think Gilbert Burns was ranked number two in the division. If not, it was like one or three or four. It was, it was top five for sure. But Gilbert Burns was the guy. He's who I consider to be the best welterweight on the planet. And I understand that he had lost to Kamaru Usman, but I still like in the back of my mind, I'm like, I think Gilbert Burns is better, but what a fight this was. Finally, having Hamzat Shemaev be tested. This was a fight that took place on the ground and on the feet. They mixed it up. It was one where we weren't sure how it was going to go on the ground because of Hamzat Shemaev's dominant wrestling and Gilbert Burns' really good jiu-jitsu. The power of these guys was on full display. We saw both guys getting rocked, both guys getting cut. Just, uh, Just a banger. I know I keep saying the word banger, but we are talking about best UFC fights of the year. So those are your those are your four nominees, the the one winner Yuri Prohaska versus Glover Teixeira. Congrats, you guys. Um, did I get it wrong? Did did the Cyclone MMA audience get it wrong? What was the best fight of the year? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys. Peace out. More MMA content coming very very soon. So watch out.